I learned that when you have a different audience from different backgrounds, it's good to start with something that uh, really calls attention. So I think the sentence is uh, quite obvious, size matters. Size matters in many areas, many subjects in our life, but also in FM models too. I have to talk about some uh, sort of a dense subject, so I'll try to do it as light as possible, but I think some of the concept, some of the messages are, are very strong. From my uh, years uh, as an engineer, I know I like formulas, I like maths. So the size of an FM model is a function of what do I know, what do I need, and what do I ask for. What this means? Obviously, who is me? I am the client company. Facility management is a support area of the companies. We are there for providing support. But the company needs to have a clear idea of what they want. What is a FEM for them? Yesterday I had a few of my colleagues speaking uh, mentioning that it is not clear what's FM. So I've been using a graph that uh, it's showing in a very simple way what's, what's within FM. So we have a corporate real estate area when companies need buildings to perform, so someone has to take care of that. But also, it's about asset management the assets that they are involved with that building or with the services or with the need that could be part of a FEM because it's part of the material that you study in an FM degree. You also have corporate project management. And I say corporate project management because a facility manager does not have to own the knowledge to build a bridge. That's a project manager that his job is to do project management. When you do project management inside of a company, you do a different type of projects. That's why I call it corporate project management. And then you also have workplace. Oh, everybody knows we need to have spaces and we need to deal with them. We have energy and sustainability, and of course we have facility services. So for me, all this is a FEM. But the companies need to know that all this could be a FEM. If we don't know that all this is a FEM, it is very difficult that the companies that they see us as a support area know what FM is. I think 12 years ago, we started writing the, the first European standards. Now we are with the ISO standards. And finally, in the definition of the ISO standards, the 14,000, we have this scope. We see FM as a combination of these elements, finally. By the way, for those of you that don't know, the 14-1000 ISO standard is not only a MSS standard, it's a management system standard. That means you can certify it. We will be able to be certified in facility management. But the ISO 14-1000 has entered a very exclusive club, which is called the high-level standards. So that will facilitate certification among the ISO 9000, the ISO 14000, the 51000, etc. So companies, they see facility management plays a role within the companies and they have to make it easy to contact, to connect with the other standards. So this is what I know. But a company has different needs independently of what FM. It is. So a company might have one building, very big building, one building, and it's rented. So their needs in corporate real estate are very little. I have to pay my rent, I have to do some ratios, I have to pay the insurance, and that's it. And I also have needs about asset management. 
I have some air conditioning systems, or maybe I have some cars, the company has some cars, and you think them as assets, so they have these needs. And the company has some projects to do. You know how many projects companies moving? And the company has some workplace needs. I need to deal with the space. I need to arrange the space. There is a lot of people. But I also have needs about energy, obviously. I need to get energy. I need to measure my impact in sustainability. And I also have facility services need, of course. So this is what the company needs. But I say the size of an FN model, it depends on what do I know, what do I need, and what do I ask to be helped to do? So if I decide that the corporate real estate activities, I don't give them to the FM, and I give them to finance, that will not be part of the FM model. And I decide that the asset management, it goes also with the finance. And I decide that, yes, you do the projects. All the inside and internal projects, you do them. Workplace, I don't give you everything. Workplace, you do some of the things, but I decide which furniture to buy. And I also decide the assignments of the workstations, or I give it to human resources. And by the way, I don't want you to take about energy and sustainability. I give it to a different department. And yes, of course, I give you all the facility services. So, so if the company has decided they need that, that is the support they are asking. So they request to the facility management model to be like that. So the size of a facility management model has to do with what the company knows. If the company don't associate corporate real estate to FM, they will never be in the model. But even if it's within their knowledge, and they decide not to give it to the FM department, that will affect the model. So if I decide, OK, I'm giving you the real estate, and I'm giving you all my needs related to asset, and I'm giving you all my needs about workplace, uh, come, energy and sustainability issues is for you as well. My model will grow because the support that I'm asking is bigger. It's about centralizing the needs. I never talk about service provision. I don't know who is going to do this. But you do FM when you do inside of your house a good definition and a good linkage between your needs. But the size of the model, it depends on the very first stage. For many companies, facility management is facility services. And that's not true. So when we talk about facility management, I have the formula. Believe it or not, after all these 20 years, I have a formula. But I only have the elements of the formula. I don't have the numbers. We have to work on that. So a facility management model is a balance between all the corporate real estate activities, everything to do with the facility services, and the workplace. So you see we have come these six elements into three, which are the three elements that actually the ISO standards is mentioning. When you work in an FM model, you need to keep balance. You cannot only be focused on the corporate real estate, because you have your own drivers. You cannot only focus on workplace, because you have your own drivers. I can have a fantastic building in a very good location. The square meter is extremely cheap. By the way, it's, it's too is two minutes walking from the finance director house. What a coincidence. But the workplace inside is crap. People is not happy. Space is difficult. It's dark. So you have to keep a balance. And the other way around. You can have a very happy environment, lighting, sofas, pinballs but the building be in a very bad location. So 
This balance is crucial. And in between, you have the facility services that they will be linked among them. So who needs a FM? Companies need a FM. We provide support to the companies. But the companies have a problem, and I call it cash. Even with an age, it will work. Cash. So what is cash? Cash is the corporate anorexic syndrome. I've been for 20 something years working in FM, many clients all over the world, and I have not heard once a company say, OK, here you have. Why don't you spend a little bit more? So companies have this anorexic problem. I don't want to joke about the, about the disease, about the, about the, but the symptoms are, I am always fat. I need to lose weight. So at some point, you see bones, skin, and you need to lose weight. It is not possible. So if you lose more weight, you cannot perform as a human being. And your skeleton will not be able to stand yourself. And you have to go in a wheelchair. So companies, they keep asking us to lose more weight. And at some point, you have to tell them, I cannot. I cannot lose more weight. Because if I lose more weight, my skeleton is not performing at its suit. I cannot keep you standing. I cannot keep you walking. If my life is in a chair, yes, I can lose more weight. But if you ask me to go somewhere, oh my god, hold on. Because you made me so, so weak that I cannot react. So when we deliver to a company a model, we have the condition of, what do you want from me? The size of the model, we have seen it. But the companies need to understand that there is a limit. Someone said this morning that we have to keep the money and maximize the money. That's excellent. We have to assure that with our resources, we provide the most for the companies. But if a company has this symptom, it is very, very, very difficult to deal with. Same that it is with a person that has this syndrome. So I have an FM model, OK? No matter the size, will depend on the company. No matter how much they give me, about the resources. FM models have two main uh, concepts or orientations. The first orientation is the one that I started using 10 years ago, and I has evolved. I call it exploitation. My model is based on buildings, on assets. So I want to get the most of my assets. And this was good six, seven years ago. We were providing models to maximize what you get from your building. I want my building fit. I want my building to perform. I want it at the best energy consumption possible. I want the most ratio of occupancy. I want it the best. So what we want, we focus on the elements, on get them the best and the most and the fastest. But then FM could have a different perception, and it will be the satisfaction model. So don't mind about the buildings. I want people happy. I want people to enjoy. Some offices, I'm wondering, why do you buy a house? Live in your office. Everything you want is in your office. You have a bigger TV. You have a bigger coach. You have a bigger sofa. You have a newer PlayStation. Why you go home? At some point, we will be like, I want to live in my office. So the model will always have both perspectives. Because we need both of them. We need the buildings and we need the people. When we design, we will design services that are 100% focused 
on the buildings, exploitation, maintenance, okay. We'll have other services that they are 100% focused on satisfaction, a reception service that our FM gamers will show us later. But there always have to be a balance, because there is no one company that operates only with buildings, or one company that operates only with people. Both need a little bit. So you need to keep this balance. So this is key. Empty buildings don't work. That was on my catch phrase at the beginning. My building can be extremely cheap, well situated, the best ratio, but people cannot work there. Why? I don't know. They are unhappy. Why? I don't know. But look at the numbers. Look at the new rate. We're paying 10% less rent. Look at the energy. Nine watts per square meter per month is amazing. OK, but the people cannot perform. Sometimes I give conferences to architects, only to architects. I like teasing them. And I say, when you design, you design things to be occupied. If you don't design things to be occupied, you have not to work as an architect. You have to work as a sculptor. You build a sculpture, you don't have to live there. It's just to look at it. Oh, it's a beautiful sculpture. Can you use it? No, no, you cannot. But is it beautiful? So buildings, if they are empty, they cannot work. So when I talk about clients, a client company, OK, an office. Offices are our mainly target uh, focus for FM. And universities. We finished at the, at the Institute, I think a few months ago, a study that we did FM applied in universities. We did it in some countries in Europe, some countries in Latin America. Amazing. Amazing the results. But FM is there. And in hotels. Don't you have FM models in hotels? Of course you do. And in hospitals? Yes. And about factories? Factories, there is a place where you also have a FM. When you think about offices, our world, you saw it, is productivity. Very difficult to measure, but in a way you can say it is more or less productive. You can sort of say it is or not. I cannot give numbers. I think I said this many times. I am not that brave. Oh, this gives you 12.5% more productivity. Oh, you're very brave. But this is give you higher or lower productivity. How about universities? FM model, yes. University, productivity. No, no, no. When we talk about offices, we want to retain people. <laughs> when we talk about universities, we don't want to retain people. You have many university facility managers here today from Europe. We want them to give them the best learning experience and to say, OK, I learn and I want four years, spam, four years, spam, four years, spam. I don't want to keep them there because it is a rotating business. But while they are there, I want them to learn the most in the best environment. How about a hotel? You look for comfort. In a hotel, you look for comfort. Maybe you're on a business trip. Maybe you are with the honeymoon. Maybe but you, you want comfort. You are away from your house, sleeping in a different bed, using a different toilet, as Pekka was saying this morning. I want comfort. Do I have an FM model? Yes, I do. Is my FM model more working to the exploitation or to the satisfaction? Ooh. Both. How about the hospital? Oops. How about the hospital? You don't want to be in a hospital. Any of you say, oh, I'm going to the hospital. What are you doing this weekend? I'm going to stay for a weekend in the hospital. To do what? I don't know. Just to have fun, to smell funny things, and to see sick people with wheelchairs. We don't want to be there. So when we're in a hospital, what we want is to be distracted. I don't want to feel like I'm in a hospital. Latest studies from Oxford University, they paint them green, they put trees. So you don't think you're in the hospital, you think you get lost in the jungle. But it's good because you are distracted. 
And in factories, we want people to deliver. Will you say productivity? Yes. But in a factory, the productivity is not an issue that facility managers will have to deal with. The facility management model is to provide support, not to do the core business. So when we design, when we design facility management models, we do it to support people. In every single FM model, humans are the center. If buildings operate in a fantastic way, but we don't think of the people inside, we are not focused in supporting the client. We are supporting something else. So facility management is one of the most clear areas where human-centric design is key. When you think of an FM model, think where is the people, what the people want. And then you will design the best possible models. Thank you very much.